It's probably true to say that most of us find eye tests a little bit uh, uncomfortable. But uh, what must it be like for very young children or even babies? Well, a hospital is now be using a handheld device. It's the first machine in this country that can overcome the problems of diagnosing youngsters. From Leicester, James Robeson reports. Pepe's only four months old. Imagine giving him a standard eye examination. This is how adults and older children have them, with the head clamped still and a lens moving in front of the eye to give results. Oh, let's take a picture. But now, for the first time in the UK, this is changing. A really good picture, Pepe. Well done. At the Leicester Royal Infirmary, specialists have the country's first handheld OCT scanner to look inside children's and even babies' eyes. It uses infrared light to take really high resolution pictures of the retina, and this one's specifically designed for use in babies and young children that normally can't go on the normal adult scanner. We can hold it over a pram, up in theatres, over a bed. It's very, very easy to use. The scanner developed in America can quickly diagnose conditions like nystagmus, which two-year-old Scarlett and six-year-old Charlie both have. It's a condition where the eyes move involuntarily, making focusing difficult. It's just so much easier. It's not intrusive. There's no pain. There's no nothing. It's just really easy. If it hadn't been for the machine, we would still be waiting and going through test after test. And we've waited until she can talk to tell us what she can see and what she can't. The scanners come to Leicester thanks to generous donations from two oh, eye charities. Okay. Now the team wants to build up a database of children like Pepe, who have normal eyes, so they can compare their eyes with ones showing problems. This is the first time we can look at the development of the retina, of the retinal structures in small children. We know that the vision develops until the age of five or six, continues to improve and due to changes in the retina. But no, uh, there's few studies of this in hist histology, but now we can look at this really in living children. The team wants to hear from parents of children, especially those under two, who would be keen to let their children's eyes be on the database. James Robeson, East Midlands today, Leicester. And well done, little Pepe.